My God is a great big God, is a great big God, He is my God. My God is a great big God, glory. Can you do it? Let's try it. Here we go. said Jesus was wrong to care about people who didn't follow God's laws as well as they did. They thought God only loved people who obeyed God. So, after dinner, Jesus told a story to teach what God's love is really like. The story went something like this. A man had two sons and owned a big farm. He loved both of his sons very much and planned to divide his money between them when they were older. But the younger son didn't want to wait for his share of the money. He wanted it now. He was eager to leave home and do what he wanted, even if it was wrong. So the father gave the younger son his part of the money. The younger son said goodbye and headed to a faraway city. There he started spending his money very foolishly on wild parties and anything he thought that would make him happy. He had lots of friends to enjoy the parties he paid for. One day, the younger son looked at his money bag. It was completely empty. All of a sudden, people he thought were his friends didn't come to see him anymore. He was all alone, and he was in big trouble. He had no money to buy food or to pay for a place to live. This was awful. At last, he found a job taking care of pigs, and he was so hungry all the time he started thinking about eating the pig's food. One morning, the younger son thought, I am starving while the people who work for my father have plenty of food to eat. The son decided to leave his job feeding pigs and return home. He prepared to tell his father that he had done wrong and that he didn't deserve to be treated like his son anymore. He would then ask his father if he could be one of his father's servants. Meanwhile, back on the farm, the father missed his younger son very much. Every day he looked down the road 
just hoping his son might be coming home again. One day, he looked and someone was walking down the road. Could it be? Yes, it was his son. The father ran, was so excited he ran to meet his son. He hugged him and kissed him. He couldn't hug him enough, even though his boy was smelly and dirty and ragged and didn't deserve to be kissed at all. The father told his servants to bring his son new clothes and sandals and a ring of his own. Then the father threw a big party to celebrate. Even though the younger son had been foolish and selfish and wrong, his father still loved him and forgave him. But the older brother became angry and refused to go to the party. He didn't think the father should give his foolish brother a ring and a party. The people at the dinner who thought they were better than the others, like that older brother, Jesus told this story because he wanted them to know that God is merciful and kind. God is full of love for us and he forgives us so we can be with him always. When we do wrong, he will forgive us when we ask. In today's Bible story, the father showed his son mercy and kindness. Mercy means showing more love or kindness to a person than he or she expects or deserves. God shows us his mercy and kindness too. The greatest way God has shown his mercy is by sending his son his one and only son, Jesus, to die on the cross, to take the punishment for our sins. Because God has given us much mercy and kindness, he wants us to show mercy and forgiveness to others. Today's memory verse is, you are forgiving and good, O Lord, abounding in love to all who call on you. Psalm, 86 verse 5. I'll say it first and you repeat after me. You are love forgiving and good, O Lord, abounding in love to all who call you. Psalm 86 verse 5. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for your great mercy. Help us to show mercy and forgiveness to others. In Jesus' name, amen.